In front of you is a clock just developed in Python Turtle graphic. Um, and to the left is the or are the codes that are used. Uh, if you guys want to verify this clock is working correctly, what I'll do next is uh, let me just write a quick Visual Basic program. Then we compare the the time. So I'm just going to grab my label right there. I need a timer. Get a timer on board as well just to verify that it works as uh, as expected so let's increase the font of this uh, label there so let's just make it maybe 20 that's fine okay we may have to get rid of this I'm just gonna get rid of the content in the label and uh, that'll be all the label is still right there if you can see it but if you want to see it let me just show you here well uh, the size is forced and uh, border style of the label just make it fix single so maybe just drag it out maybe about that that's cool select the timer and uh, change the interval to one and the next thing is set uh, enable make that true double click on the timer and just enter label label one dot text equals time of today yeah that's it time of day okay if I run the program right now that's what you see now let's compare that to my to my total timer so can you guys see that you can see right away that let me minimize that right away that the the visual basic digital and the analog that is developed in a Python graphic they are actually telling exactly the same time look at this this is seven there's 12 minutes past seven and we have approximately the same thing here in fact the same thing 12 minutes past seven okay and if you look at the seconds you can see the seconds is working exact at the same rate so I will now minimize this close this very analog clock and show you guys the codes these are the codes that I use in uh, Python to develop that very time piece that you guys saw earlier on so I'm just gonna scroll down I wouldn't be going through the code because uh, it's very long not that long so you can always uh, have a good look at it study the codes and uh, you should be able to do something very very similar that's the code right there let me take it down so that you see it all there that's the end of the codes take it back up And that's the beginning of the code so I'm just gonna run it save it and run it again there so if you want to verify with my visual basic uh, timepiece that's it right there so if you want to develop something like that be my guess I'm just gonna call it uh, bye for now but just before then show you the codes one more time So you guys have a nice day now.